Hello there! Do you like Sword and Shield? Do you like speedruns or guides or challenge content? Then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I am posting no armor fatalis, I'm posting Sword and Shield guides, I'm posting Sword and Shield overviews, and most importantly, more future speedruns. And today I have a Raidao TA wiki rules run for you. So if you're wondering why is this 15 minutes long, why, why are other videos 4 minutes? for Sword and Shield, and this guy takes 50 minutes. Well, I don't use any boulders. I don't use Heavy Bowgun to sleep Ray Dao. I'm not using traps so I can't capture him at low HP. I'm not using flashbugs to snipe him out of the air. I don't use anything. I just go in raw. And if you like going in raw, then this run is for you. You will see pretty much every single move he has in his arsenal and how I respond to it by trying to kill him relatively cleanly and quickly. And I do have to say this run was really clean for the most part until the last area unfortunately. I did mess up a few things because of the uneven ground there and the aftershock waves he has in his final area. But nonetheless it was a really enjoyable experience and I want to share that with you. So make sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. In what regards? Oh, big RNG. What? I did not expect him to hit me there. Unlucky, my bad. Get a kill. Oh, nice miss. Nice. Still not a fan of how I'm floating when I play wilds or worlds or wilds. What do you mean? What do you mean by floating mate? I didn't want to shield bash there either. Good point to sharpen. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of... I uh, don't know how to explain it, the animations. Fair. I didn't experience any floatiness in Monster Hunter World, personally. But everybody's different. I am not personally a huge fan of GU and drums. So we might just like different things in games. So maybe that's why I never noticed. See, I did the exact same movement last time, and it killed me. I don't get it. Oh well. And he is battle scarred, but I can't fucking focus him down. It's really weird, man. I feel like I'm spending too much time trying to open the room. Maybe I should stop doing that. A billion misses, not too nice. Too early, no perfect block. I feel like I'm gonna improve so much just by having 60 FPS. Why didn't I get the other hits? Nice! Let me open the map! 
I can't open the map with my weapon unsheathed. That's dumb. The travel points, why? I don't know why they have two icons on top of them. I feel like I'm getting cut by that pretty often. I feel it's not very satisfying. And I can't sharpen because I have to be told that I'm in the wind planes. So yeah, I probably lost some time because of the cucking. It is what it is. Didn't mean to, but I guess we're working on the second KO now. Guess that's gonna be my game plan. So tell me, how do you feel about Wilds compared to Iceborne Frontier Z? I don't feel like Frontier Z is a good comparison here. Um, I love, love it when it works. I, I think that's the best way to put it. Outside of all the issues, I love it when it works. But the 30 FPS is giving me a really bad time reacting to things. And all the other performance-related bugs, or teleports, whatever, are making it pretty unenjoyable, sometimes. I think that's pretty much the best way I can summarize it. See, he almost sniped me there. was not in popping mood this time. He's in popping mood this time. Pretty nice. Good kill. I'd say it's comparable as both these games. I have one combo you spam over and over. Yeah, but uh, to, to me personally, it's not the biggest issue to spam one combo. I feel like one Hunter has more prominent issues than the combo stuff. I don't necessarily have to spam... Uh, have 20 different combos. But that's my personal take. I know people also enjoy it to just have a lot of variety in the kit. Flying off to now to the uh, to the thingy. Um, to be fair, in most monsters, I feel like there's one defining combo. In Rise, it was shield uh, spam. In Sunbreak, it was the uh, slash dance. And I feel like Monster Hunter World base game is the only one where he had two different combos that legit had optimal uses depending on what you thought. Huge explosion. I don't know what I'm doing. Now. Oh my god. I need to heal. Preferably. Hell yeah. Perfect.
while I'm in the water, I'm actually slow. What am I even hitting? Apparently nothing. Oh, he's close to death. We had the 10 minute mark again. Really good run. Second time in a row. Let's not die to some bullshit. Let's not get a bug. Let's just have some fun go wild. Um, yeah. Remember the aftershocks? Remember whenever he does a move with, uh, while being charged, I don't want to stand in a line. Um, since he's still further away from me, maybe it's smart to let him sleep. Am I closing in? Yeah, only like 50% HP left here, right? So Van's gonna go down to 30 minutes, since he's gonna change 50 areas again. I feel like it's the best case if he goes into his area right as he gets close to low HP, because then he's not gonna change again. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Obviously you don't see me, right? Hell is it. I think I could've been a little bit closer. <laughs> Oh, why does he stagger? Rather not get screamed at. I misremembered! First mistake already! <laughs> that strat doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna die in a minute. Let's go to full HP. Oh my god, you're far away. The draw! I don't like the unevenness of this area, if I might say so. Perfect block is just useless there, isn't it? Oh, he's weak. Does he have a scar? Oh, he 100% has. Nice stuff. Let's actually try to go for one more KO here. Yeah, probably rolling. So slow. Excited to see what we're gonna get out of this. Too early. Fuck. Shit. now. Really? What the fuck is happening? Dude. So where this guy is absolutely cooking my ass. I'm actually gonna lose this run. Don't worry guys, he only has 200 more HP. 200 billion. Oh my 
god! Nice miss. It's a 15 minute run. It's not sub 15. Let's see. It's an improvement. 15.33. I don't know, man. 